do you want to see how much I was able to make in dividend for the month of March? Y'all, hey, it's D. So it's time for my monthly wrap up of my dividends from my investing portfolios. So yeah, let's get into the video. All right, if you're new here, I do document my investing journey. And right now it is um, focused on my dividends that I receive because I'm not currently able to invest on a regular basis right now. So every month I come on here and share with you the dividends I was able to receive. I am not a financial advisor. I am just coming on here and sharing my journey of investing with my hope of being able to retire early. This is a tracker that I do have available on my Buy Me A Coffee shop if you're interested in this. And I use this to track my dividends from my IRAs, my brokerage accounts, and my HSA. So I do have my investments within Fidelity and Stash Current. And those are just two platforms that I choose to use. Okay, so the first big dividend I received in early March was from Jeppy, and I got a total of $40.75 from them. And the next one that I received that was pretty big was from O, and I got a total of $34.09 from them. Now, dividends, they are always based on the amount of dividends that the company or position will pay per position and the number of positions that you have. The dividends are not like the same every month. The companies bring down the dividend sum. Sometimes they raise it up so it's never like the same every month. And it's similar to uh, how you get interest in your bank account. Alrighty, so my next highest dividend for the month was from SCHD and this position actually pays out quarterly. The other two that I just notated pay out monthly. There are companies or positions that pay out monthly, quarterly, and some even pay out yearly. It just depends on how the structure of that position is. So I got a total of $65.95 from SCHD, I will insert a screenshot of that particular dividend that I did get. And yeah, y'all. So these were the dividends that I did receive for March. And these are just some of the positions that I believe in and I currently hold. I'm not telling you to go out here to buy anything at all. Okay, so those are the dividends. Okay, so this is my next tracker that I use to give me a snapshot of how much I was able to make in the month for my dividends. And as you see, in January, I made $255.20. And in February, I made $97.63. Now, I do have most of my dividends reinvested in, except for my HSA. And that's because I'm trying to build up my HSA cash balance so I can use that to help me pay for medical bills this year instead of using it, using the money from my budget or from my savings account. For the month of March, I was able to bring a total of $193.07. So, so I am very, very, very appreciative of that. So that was a quite a bit of money to me. And yeah, y'all, now let's add up what I was able to bring in for the full quarter of 2024. I do like to track that also, and I track that down here at the bottom of this tracker. So 255.20 plus 97.63 plus 193.07. Woo! That's a lot more than I thought. A total of $545.90. So this right here is passive income at its finest. And since I do have most of my dividends reinvested, that just helps me build up my shares by reinvesting those dividends back into those shares. So, whoo, $545. I will take it. So I do also like to break down the dividends a little bit more and I like to track how much 
I receive in just my brokerage accounts because the brokerage accounts that I do have, which are two, uh, when I retire early, I need to be able to see how much money I can withdraw from those accounts. And as I'm able to build those up in the future, um, I want to keep track of it separately. So for the month of March, I was able to bring in a total of $15.20 in dividends. And let's see what I brought in for the quarter. So $15.04 for January, $11.80 for February, and $15.20 for March. Okay, so that's not bad. $42.04 worth of dividends in my brokerage accounts. Next, I would like to go over the dividends I receive in my IRAs. Now, these are the accounts that I can tap into after retirement. So after I, re after I reach the retirement age, I can start cashing in um, these dividends to help pay for my expenses and what have you. So for the month of March, I was able to bring in a total of 100 $51.74. So that is good to me. I am not tracking the amount of dividends that I receive in my HSA because right now that is not important to me. So yeah, let's see what I was able to bring in for the quarter. 208.61 for January plus $77.64 for February and 151.74 for March. And that's a total of $437.99. So that is very, very good. So as you see, most of my dividends are coming from my retirement accounts, which is good. That means that I have the bulk of my money invested in my retirement accounts right now and that is okay with me. Once I'm able to start investing again, I will start investing more money into my brokerage accounts so they can help me in my early retirement stage. I did want to see the close of March, my total value of my portfolios was a total of $47,000. $429. So $50,000. And once I'm able to get there, that will be a big accomplishment for me. But $47,429, I will take it. And that is how it is helping me be able to receive these amount of dividends month to month. So usually the more you have invested, the more dividends that you will receive just like with your personal savings account or, or your high yield savings accounts. The more money you have saved up, the more dividends or interest that you, you will receive. Um, cause I do have a local credit union and they also pay us dividends for our savings. So it just depends on what bank that you use. So yeah, y'all, that is my update for the month of March. And I want to thank y'all so much for following on my journey. If you like to see dividend tracking, budgeting, investing, and more, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share it with anybody who might need some encouragement. I also do low income budgeting and more. All right, y'all. Don't forget to make the money, but don't let the money make you. And $545.90 for 2024 in dividends. I will take it. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one.